Hey guys, welcome back to my tech channel. In this video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and review of a UPS that I recently bought for my computer. The model is called APC BX 1100C IN. So I will be going over the features, its specifications, run times, and also I will test the UPS on my computer. On the box, we see a couple of uh, features and its icons on the front of the box. On the other side, there are some more features with descriptions. I shall be covering these features in this video. To its side, there are some technical specifications. And on the top, you will see a table that mentions the runtime of the UPS for various devices. So let's quickly unbox and see what we have got inside. In the box, we get a product registration form, an envelope, some warranty information, safety information, and a user manual. And this has notes on package contents, installation, powering on the UPS, battery replacement, specifications, status indicators, troubleshooting information, and many more. Also, we get a report on quality assurance test indicating the test procedures and results that was done at the time of packaging by the manufacturer. So let's take a closer look at the UPS itself. It weighs about 9 kgs and it's made of good quality plastic. It has a power cord of length 1.5 meters and a 6 amp 3 pin Indian plug at the end of the cord. On the front panel, we see a couple of buttons and status LED. The first button is to power on or power off the unit and the LED in the button turns green when pressed. If there are any errors, then it will turn red. The second button is for battery saver option. Pressing this button will activate the battery saver feature and offers consistent runtime during the lifetime of the battery. It increases the battery life up to two times, but the runtime of the connected equipment will reduce when this feature is enabled. And lastly, we see an LED that is a status indicator during charging of the battery. On the sides of the UPS, we see a couple of vents for cooling and dissipating the heat generated by the electronic circuits inside. And there is nothing much on the top. On the bottom side, the edges are a bit elevated and protrudes outwards, thus helping in stability when the UPS is in standing position. And moving on to the back side, we see a lot of power outlets. It has four power outlets with battery backup and surge protection and one additional outlet with surge only protection. It has been mentioned in the manual to use a 6 amp rated plug and we should not connect surge protectors or extension cords to these outlets. Moving down, we see a thermal breaker circuit switch here. This is a very good feature wherein the UPS will trip cutting off the power if there is any overload condition. Pressing this button will reset the thermal circuit breaker and the unit will start operating normally. Also here inside there is a cooling fan that is meant for cooling the electronic components when running on battery power. Now talking about the specifications, it takes an input of 230 volts AC and it has an under voltage protection of 145 volts and an over voltage protection of 290 volts AC. The output power is rated at 1.1 kVA or 660 watts. The switching time or the transfer time is around 10 milliseconds and it has an efficiency of 72% at full load while running on the backup. It has surge protection and also overload protection that can be reset when overloaded. It runs on two 12 volt maintenance free sealed lead acid batteries with each having a capacity of seven amp hours. The recharge time of the batteries is roughly around six hours. Now let's talk about its features that are highlighted for this unit. Firstly, it is compatible with gensets or home inverters and can be connected to them. Next is the overload protection wherein it detects high load and trips the unit for protection. The next feature is the cold start compatibility wherein we can power the connected device when the utility power is off. Next is the battery saver mode that when turned on, it will enhance the battery life of the UPS. There is a surge protection in case of spike in the mains voltage and safeguards the connected devices. Lastly, it has the AVR or the automatic voltage regulation 
where it corrects and regulates the mains voltage by boosting or trimming the voltage if it is too high or too low without using the battery power. When talking about uh, switching of power from mains to battery, the unit will switch to battery power if the input voltage does not meet the under voltage or the over voltage thresholds or if there are any voltage fluctuations or if the input frequency is out of range. If the UPS is running on battery mode and the battery saver switch is on, then the UPS will shut down if the connected load draws less than 30 watts of power for more than 5 minutes. So if you are planning to use this UPS for powering smaller devices such as Wi-Fi router, then we need to turn off the battery saver mode off uh, so that the UPS will not auto shut off. This UPS has got a lot of uh, status indicators, both visual and audible indicators. It beeps every minute while it's running on battery mode and when running low on power. It has various types of beep sounds and LED flashing patterns for indicating alerts such as overload, short circuit, over temperature, shutdown indicator, battery replacement and many other events. Now let's talk about the runtime of this unit when it is running on battery. There are two modes here, one is with the battery saver mode on and the other with the battery saver mode off. As you can see, a single home PC with 19 inch LCD monitor should offer roughly around 50 minutes of runtime when the battery saver mode is off. You can also see the various uh, loads and the runtimes that is listed on the APC website that is shown on the screen. I had no problem powering on my gaming PC and at 4K 27 inch LED monitor with this UPS and it worked perfectly fine. As you can see the charging LEDs has turned on indicating that the batteries are being charged at the moment. When the main supply is switched off, you can see that the computer stays on running on battery power. The switch from mains to battery was really smooth and there was no lag at all. I also tested the cold start feature on this uh, UPS. During a cold start, the connected device may draw a lot of power momentarily to start up. I have removed the power cord of the UPS from the main supply and I'll now turn on the UPS. As you can see, the cold start also works fine without any issue. I also measured how much power this UPS will draw during the charging process and you can see that it draws roughly around 60 watts during the process. I also took some time to measure the output voltage of this UPS when it was running on battery and it outputs a voltage of around 215 volts at 50 hertz. I also did a test to check the runtime for my computer after fully charging this uh, UPS. My computer draws about 100 watts of power during idle after booting Windows 10. So I switched off the main power and let the UPS run on battery. Surely as per the measurements given on the APC website, I got a backup time of 35 minutes before it started to give a warning beep of shutdown. So that's all for this video guys, I hope uh, this video was uh, useful to you. Please give it a like if it helped and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.